They're not as silly as they seem. Tell me your dreams. They're not as silly as they seem. I'm gonna help you make them come true. I believe in you. Hello, I'm Julie Joy of Renowned Lightworkers, and I have another story for you. Have you heard the story about a group of souls that incarnated to Earth to help Earth ascend and to help humanity to move forward? Have you been playing the role of the obedient light worker, patiently waiting for Earth's ascension and for humanity's ascension? Well, what if I told you that Earth was always ascended, that Earth's light within has always been acknowledged, recognized, and present within her consciousness? That would change things, wouldn't it? Earth is indeed ascending, meaning her light of divinity is no longer hidden from her. And in actuality, Earth was never without her light of God. Now, humanity is a very different case. Humans, with free will combined, with the very real case of veiling upon birth, routinely forget their light of divinity within. You have this choice. You, as your higher selves, created this choice. Earth is a place where you can and do forget your true divine nature. This isn't a problem to your higher selves. It is what makes Earth so fabulous. Even the most savvy and amazing souls can incarnate into a human form and forget everything about their eternal divine nature. It is remarkable, fascinating, and gloriously expansive to yourselves as Source Creator God. Forgetting that you are God allows for God to have some wild and crazy experiences. Some of them are pretty. Some of them are horrific. Luckily, you thought about that part and planned accordingly. You set up a sort of barrier around this reality so that any unpleasantness that could in any way damage our eternal light and love would be limited to this reality. You cannot damage your higher selves, truly, no matter what happens here. You can take all experiences here and bring them with you into the all that is without any of the negativity that you felt was so real while you were here. Earth and the veils and the forgetting are one of the many facets that allow God to be infinite versus finite. You never know what will happen on earth. We share this with you to help you perhaps more clearly understand and even appreciate this reality. Your ascension is the union of your eternally love-based nature within your human consciousness. This union does not have to mean dialogue with your team. It does not have to mean that you are perpetually happy or even pleasant in your humanness. It simply means that no matter what you are or aren't, that you deeply know that you are a unique representation of God as your human expression of you. Your team, your eternal energy, in this regard, and if you know fundamentally that you are light, eternally and here, then you, dear sibling of God, are ascended now. Just in that knowing, because that means everything, you're remembering this amidst this atmosphere of forgetting is truly a miracle. And we celebrate this with you. So all those stories about Earth ascending as if she needs to, or humanity ascending as if it needs to, as if there is a problem that humanity is forgetting as well, a momental misunderstanding of consciousness and how this reality works. We share this with you today out of love and deep respect for you 
and for the unique experience that Earth offers to all of us as eternal energy. We respect and value Earth, humanity, and all it offers, the all that is. We share a lot on many occasions and in many contexts for the purpose of helping you remember the truth about the light of God that you are the true divine nature of earth and of all physical life. Above is a recent and particularly enlightening conversation that we feel would further tune you to the light of God that you are. It is worth even multiple listens. Please notice the natural grace and flow to the being of light, of love, while being fully physical, and how they do indeed go together. When the truth is known and the misconceptions are cleared away, no waiting, just being. Light. Now. With that, we send love, blessings, and gratitude for all that you are. This was channeled by Jill and the Guardian Councils of the Platinum and Golden Rays. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers Channel, and thank you for listening to this magnificent, truthful story. Do you believe? Do you believe in? way that I believe in you.